Hi guys, today I want to talk about transporting your cello in your car. So uh, I bought a cello and have a hard case for it like you're supposed to have for a decent cello and uh, I go back and forth to my lesson and hopefully soon also to my community orchestra. So um, what's the best way of getting your cello there safely and conveniently in your car? So. I'm going to show you uh, three different ways that I thought of and uh, leave some comments if you want or uh, better ways if, or uh, any suggestions you have um, to improve on this or something I'm doing wrong or whatever. Just give me a suggestion, please. Okay, so uh, I'm filming outside, so it's a little noisy. Sorry about that. But uh, first of all, I want to talk with uh, the first method, um, putting it in a trunk. So, uh, I have a, a large sedan, it's a Lexus ES, so you know this, this is going to be something that um, it's not going to work for everybody because of the size of your car. Um, it's my notes here. So. Um, so let's go ahead and put it in and you'll, have, you'll notice that I actually have to be a little creative here on how I get it in the trunk. Um, I have to put the neck in all the way first and then just barely I can swing in the base and I can put it in the trunk like that. So uh, hopefully you can see that inside there. Um, so the, the pros are if you're in a tight parking spot and you can't open your doors all the way, then this is a good way to do it. Um, Cause you know, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you don't need hardly any clearance to get it in and out of your trunk. Uh, the cons are like I said, if you have a smaller car than this, uh, might be a challenge to get that in there. Uh, cello case is pretty big. Um, another con is it can move around. If you're in an accident, well, even if you have to stop rapidly for whatever reason, uh, then your cello is probably gonna slide around quite a bit. That's probably not good for the cello. And uh, another con is the trunk has to be empty. Uh, it takes up a lot of space, so you carry around a lot of junk in your trunk, uh, so to speak, um, then that might be a difficult proposition to get a cello in there as well. Uh, so I guess that's it for the trunk method. Uh, next we'll do uh, rear seat. Okay, for the rear seat method, uh, method number two, uh, there's some pros and cons for it as well. Uh, one of the pros is it's better than the trunk method if you have a smaller car. Um, but the cons are it can be difficult or impossible to get that in there if you can't open your, your door all the way because of parking spots or whatever. Uh, and another con that I could think of is, uh, again, if you uh, have to stop very rapidly or in an accident or whatever, your cello is going to go flying. Uh, even if it just slips down off the seat and down on the floor, even you know if you go over some small bumps that could happen, then um, that's not good for the cello either. So it kind of moves around. Now you could um, put a seat belt around it. Uh, I've tried that and it's doable. So let me go ahead and do this. Again, in my car, which is uh, a large sedan, that fits in there okay. Uh, has to be slightly at an angle for it to go in there, but it does fit. Uh, I can wrap the seat belt around it. Uh, it's a little difficult, but it's not too bad for doing that. Um, so that's it for the rear seat method. Okay, for the final method, uh, putting it in the front seat, this is what I do so far. Uh, I think it's the better method, but again, you know, comment uh, down below and if you think of a better method than what than what I'm doing or think of some more pros or cons that I haven't thought of. But for this one, uh, the pros I could think of was it's probably the safest method to put it in here for the cello, and I'll show you why I say that when I get it in. Um, the cons are, again, like the rear. Um, if you're in a tight parking spot, you can't swing your door open all the way. Now in the rear, it's probably darn hard to get it in there. This, this just makes it a little bit more difficult. 
but it's not as bad if you have a tight uh, spot. So let me go ahead and put it in. And notice um, I'm going to uh, kind of swing, swing the neck in all the way towards the driver first and then rotate to uh, straighten it out. Okay, uh, that works for my car. I have to back the seat back a little bit for it to do that. But notice that um, it's not going anywhere. If I stop in a hurry, the dash, at least in my car, the dash is going to stop it. And it really can't go anywhere. It can go to side to side a little bit, but not really because it's kind of jammed down in there against the instrument panel. Um, now, maybe it'll leave a mark on there eventually. I don't know. I probably should have a rag there or something to protect the case and the, and the, and the um, dashboard there. Uh, doesn't seem to be bad for the seat to do it this way. And I, so, that, so I think it's tell was safest this way. If you were in a fender bender or you had to stop in a hurry, then this isn't really going to move. Um, worst case, you're in a wreck. Uh, airbag goes off. It's going to hit the cello pretty hard, but it's got a hard case, so I don't know. I, I think it'll be okay. Uh, I think it'll be better off than the other two ways that I talked about if you're in a wreck. So. Okay, that's it for, for my thoughts on this. Uh, let me know if you guys come up with a better idea. And thanks very much.